Now the second part of this show is about this gallery, better yet, this creative space, which is much like a canvas for all art forms, shifting your perception of what a gallery really is. Believe it or not, this is a gallery, Shift Eye Gallery, which is a multifunctional creative space that caters for all forms of art, from dance to music to fashion and, of course, art. Well, tell me about Shift Eye Gallery because you run the gallery. Yes. It's very young. I love how this whole um, installation is run by a very young team. Yeah. Um, how is it running a gallery? Um, it's actually it's a lot process. of fun. Yeah. Um, meeting new artists, interacting with different creatives okay. around Kenya. Nice. Yeah. And this is a different kind of gallery, not your regular just art pieces, but you have um, you have events. Um, you're more than just a gallery. Yeah. Tell me about that. Um, basically, we wanted um, to look for a way to bring Nairobi's creative people together. Okay. So we had an idea of instead of just having an, a gallery, having a creative space as well. So you can come here and have a conference, have a party, whatever nice. event you want to have. Are you kidding? Yeah. Whatever event. Whatever event. I have a birthday next weekend and decide I want to use the space. Come through. All right, tell me about this very interesting installation we have here. Okay. It's quite pretty. This here is torn t-shirts woven around brass. Mm -hmm. It was done by Katungulu Mwenda. It represents the bark of a tree. Mm -hmm. And everything on the ceiling represents the fruits and the flowers that come from trees. Nice. So in the olden days, um, kids would sit around a tree and would be told stories by their grandparents mm -hmm. and they would get inspired and taught, mm -hmm. educated. That's what we wanted to do here at Shift Eye Gallery. Nice. Yeah. So that is the vision of Shift Eye. That is the vision of Shift Eye. Fantastic. Yeah. Any, um, what events are you having currently? Um, at the moment, we have a lot of art exhibitions. Um, and where this is your first, yeah? Yes, this is our first art exhibition of the year. Nice. Yeah. Um, we're having a few conferences coming up. Um, we're having an offer next week for running for two weeks where you can have any one day event here at a discounted rate. Yeah. Busy, busy. Yes. And how old are you again? We're four months old now. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? This is gorgeous. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. I have to talk to the rest of the team. Okay. I appreciate it. Thank you. The Shift Eye team say the intention of this space is to give creative practitioners a platform to interact, but above all, a space that welcomes all to learn, engage, and be inspired. Zachary Saitoti is a man behind this space. He studied photography in university, but started Shift Eye photography in his teens, which has now birthed a whole art space. The name Shift I uh, began when I was in university and um, I was around a lot of um, uh, DJs and, and break dancers and everyone had this different alias and I thought, you know, well, why not do that for, you know, for art or something artistic? And so basically I started doing photography when I was in high school and then came to uni and then being around those people I started on a, you know, on a different alias to be associated with my, with my photography. So, um, Came up with shifter essentially means like you know a different point of view. Nothing is ever what it seems. It's like you see something, but there's always something else to it you know, that meets the eye. Pictures, very. Yes. I like how it meets a simple background with the shift eye title back there, mm -hmm. um, but it's so powerful. I, I don't know if it's the posing and the editing after almost looks like a painting. Tell me um, about your experimental pieces. Um, well, the experimental stuff. I mean, it's a combination of both the photography and the post-production. I mean, I started off, I did photography, then I did a degree in, um, in, in graphic design, and then yeah, carried on to do a degree in photography. So, I mean, it's a combination of, you know, with the photography, I know about the lighting and everything, combining that, and then afterwards, you know, the post-production. It's like for every hour I spend doing a, a, a photo shoot, I will spend two hours in post-production. Yeah. Wow. So it's like, it's a combination, but the, the, the thing is, I don't like making them look too much as though I've worked on them too much, yeah. too much post-production. Okay. I like to make them look different and, and edgy and strange, but nothing, not like, you know, like for example, when it comes to uh, fashion photography, I, you know, when smoothing out the skin, I hate that look of plastic that a lot of photographers seem to kind of go nice. for. So you don't want your, your models looking perfect? No, no, no. I mean, okay. perfection lies within imperfection. So in the day, like you need to have those imperfections to make it look more natural, more real. Tell me how this started, the gallery. 
Um, the gallery basically uh, started as a, an idea. I think when I was in when I was in university. I mean, it's something I toyed around with. It's just because I did a lot of um, did a lot of exhibitions at the time, okay. um, and also after university, they have got a few exhibitions. And it's just number one, the stress of finding a place. Mm -hmm. Number two, like um, the the cost of printing uh, and everything, all the different things. It's just like you know, it just started costing too much. And it's, oh, I didn't I didn't have st stuff selling at the time. Okay. So it's like, well, it'd be really nice to one day have a place where essentially all I'm paying is for prints, framing, done. My stuff is up for yeah. the world to see. Yeah, good to go. No, <laughs> but it was a selfish idea <laughs> um, initially. And then, um, you know, finally it was like, actually, you know what, it'd be good for me to have that, but at the same time, it'd be good to have a space where, um, you know, other artists of other mediums can come and show the showcase their stuff. And then also it's like a place where people can come and appreciate the art and just, you know, mingle and, you know, get to know one another and network and, you know, just basically try to make the art scene bigger than it is. And again, another story of a frustrated artist just wanting to share his craft. But the lack of means led to him making the decision to open up his own space and share it with other like minds. But why at a time when um, we know of some um, other galleries that have closed shop from yes. Gallery with Tattoo, Tura MoMA, mm -hmm. and then here's a bunch of very young people mm -hmm. yes. who are brave enough to say, we're going to try it, let's see how this goes. Yeah. What give you that, I guess, push to do this? Um, I mean, it's, I, it was just, I know quite a few galleries have closed down, yeah. and I was a bit worried about that, but I, I just believe, I just believe that if, you know, I was going to try really hard with this thing, and I just wasn't going to accept failure as an option. It's like, Fair enough, these places are closing down. Let's find out where they close down. Let's try not to do what they've done and learn from the mistakes and see if we can, you know, just go forward and hopefully not close down. <laughs> 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 Let's start and see how we go. So yeah, exactly. Kind of and uh, I, I believe in this place. I love this space. I love it. Um, I think that I think we can do something really good. I think we'll be going for quite a while. Well, now you know the genesis of Shift I, Time to talk to the man who put it all together, the architect Bal Moy. So I was working with a very uh, curvilinear space <laughs> and uh, the challenges that sort of arose were three major columns that support all the floors that are above me. Okay. Uh, and currently you probably did an interview and you spoke about one of the columns. Mm -hmm. uh, the rest of the columns are actually hidden in the space within the different rooms that we'll show you. Mm -hmm. uh, so with that said, uh, we came up with a concept still looking at the brand. The brand being Shift Guy had to take on sort of the guidance and the direction where the concept was going to come from. Okay. So that was very simply splitting the space into public and private. So where we're standing, first of all, is a very public space. Yes. The rest of this is sort of like the brain of Shift Guy, and that continues in the back. Uh -huh. So we split the space almost smack in the middle. Uh, we chose to have familiar materials that you could say have in Kibera as well as Runda. So we have Mabati, mm -hmm. we have a very rustic floor, okay. and we have wood. These are elements that are found in almost any, any part of Nairobi. Nice. So it is familiar to a lot of people. It doesn't feel that the space is somewhat imposing on you. Mm -hmm. It's not an elite space, mm -hmm. it's art. There you go, good point. Because most people feel like going to an art gallery is for the elite. Even art, just yes, being yes, an yes. artist is for the elite. Yes. Um, to those at home, yes. what would you tell them about art and an art space, this art space? Art is usually self-interpreted. Um, you know, like like many things around us, uh, we, we sort of oversee uh, the art in anything. Uh, we sort of look for a language that is overly complex, and the simplicity or the joy of art is how simple it can be, no matter how you celebrate it. Okay. So a space like this, uh, created and designed in such a way that it had to be a canvas. So it had to sit as a canvas, but one that is framed to, a, to, to, the, to the degree where you have simple, simple uh, uh, sort of boundaries as to where you can go. For instance, painting on a, on a wall. But okay, definitely. The lighting is a mixture of artificial light mm -hmm. as well as uh, natural light. Mm -hmm. So different times of the day, the gallery does open around at 10 o'clock. So you would experience the sun rising from the east. And at a certain point, it disappears above the building. Okay. And that point is where certain lights in the space start coming on. Mm -hmm. So early morning, there's so much sunlight coming in, mm -hmm. hence also the, the placement of the artwork. It's, it's away from the direct sunlight. Okay. 
Okay, so nice. over here is where you kind of showcase the work so it looks directly at you. Okay. So you look at all these different design elements that have to influence the space itself. Yeah. Now the aim of this gallery is a continual support of local creative talent, creating a larger, wider platform for artists in the hope of contributing to the growing recognition of Kenyan art and creativity, both nationally and internationally. Isn't it great seeing young people not only using their art to express but also to survive? You really can be whatever you want to be if you just set your mind to it. Time now for me to say good night and goodbye. Until next week, remember to hit me up on Facebook and Twitter at keepitkiss hashtag graced.